learn XDD. Now, of course, we all know installing Windows means turning off a bunch of telemetry features, okay? Going through a bunch of scripts. But lately in Microsoft system requirements, as of 2023, Microsoft has camera requirements. Microsoft isn't even trying to hide the fact that Windows is spyware anymore. In fact, they're pretty much marketing the spyware as its greatest feature now. This is my first Windows 11 experience. It was miserable. It has taken two hours to get to this point. I hate you, Windows. 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 Windows! Don't do it! Don't do it already! Do it! Do it now! What are you doing? Single day, automatically, your PC needs to restart to finish installing important updates. Every single day, and every single day, I click later. You know why I click later? Because there's no option to click never. Look at this shit! I am fucking rendering something, you cocksucker! I'm doing important shit! Why do you need to install updates? What updates? Some more fucking spyware so the NSA can keep watching what I'm doing? Looking at my dick pics and watching me jack off? Spying on me? Obama? You fucking n***! I'm a racist! You made me a racist! If you haven't realized it already, Windows is slowly getting worse and worse with every new update. From peddling intrusive and dysfunctional AI features such as Copilot and failing to innovate upon the quintessential user interface that has existed since Windows 95. Not only this, but many comparatively ancient applications, most notably the control panel settings, are still just as used if not more often than the actual dedicated settings menu. This, along with many other issues, such as an increasing amount of spying and telemetry, adware being present in Windows despite the fact that a new copy of Windows 11 will drive you 200 fucking dollars, and the urging of consumers to buy newer computers because Microsoft does not want you to use an even remotely older system for Windows. And this is not just something that self-proclaimed Windows decriers see. Windows 11, despite being nearly three years old, has actually shrunken in market share and has shown signs of people moving backwards to Windows 10 again. Windows is failing and the signs are clear. Now, with this in mind, I'm sure you've already been considering other options, and if not, at the very least you gotta be curious. An alternative that is presented time and time again is Linux. Now, most people have no idea what the hell Linux is, so let me give you a rundown and some advantages that it has over Windows so you can make your own decision. Linux is a combination of the Linux kernel and GNU, which is a collection of software intended to form the basis for an operating system. There are an overwhelming amount of variations of Linux called distros or distributions. These distros all vary in software, user interfaces, and intended use cases. Without over explaining myself, Linux is a free operating system that hinges on its fiercely loyal community in order to create free software and develop Linux further. Now that you have a basic understanding, let me present you with some advantages Linux has over Windows and some things to consider. Now I am going to be specifically referring to the extremely popular and user friendly Linux distro, Linux Mint. This is because if you really wanted to switch to Linux, this is, at least in my opinion, the first place you should go. The first advantage Linux has over Windows is that Linux is private. Save a few corporate distros that integrate telemetry, Linux doesn't even track you. Once you install Linux Mint, there are no tracking features to disable and no phoning home of any kind. Unlike Windows, which hassles you about disabling a litany of spyware options and not even giving you the option to disable that shit. And the second advantage Linux has is that Linux is safe. Getting a virus on your computer isn't impossible, and any amount of security does not excuse carelessly clicking suspicious links on the internet, but I can say with 100% certainty that Linux doesn't really get viruses 99% of the time. Windows requires some form of anti-cheat in order to be considered usable on the internet. And this is because in Windows' infancy, after so many viruses running rampant, Microsoft themselves had to develop an antivirus because that's just how unsafe Windows was and still is. Linux doesn't have this issue though, and while I'm sure I can owe a good portion of this to Linux's limited market share right now, there is another reason. And that reason is that Linux is very efficient at downloading software. The third advantage. Unlike Windows, where you gotta sift through dozens of websites trying to download a bunch of EXE files and then you have to, you know, open them and fucking go through the whole process of installing each individual setup, and then they remain on your computer after you install the program, Linux removes all of that hassle and pre presents an alternative. 
Any program designed for any purpose is called a package in Linux. Packages are stored in safe, remote servers called repositories. Whenever you want to download something, you can really just hop into Linux Mint Software Manager and install it free of hassle. Or you can input a simple command like apt install. Downloading software this way will always be safe, fast, and easy as fuck. The fourth advantage that I'm going to give in this video is that Linux runs on practically anything. You throw anything at Linux, I guarantee you it's going to run it at least just fine. Don't have an SSD? Still working with the hard drive? No problem, I promise you. It's going to run it just fine. 32-bit processor? Cool. Processor with just a few cores, maybe just a few threads? It's going to run it just fine. And Linux Mint is no exception. Linux Mint comes with three specific distributions that come with different desktop environments and a variety of packages to make the system a little bit lighter. The first one is Linux Mint XFCE Edition, which comes with, well, the titular XFCE desktop environment. It's very light on resources and it's still full of features for you to use, and it's familiar just like Windows with a start menu like interface. In fact, all three distributions of Linux Mint possess a similar interface to Windows. Overall, Linux Mint runs like a fucking dream on most systems, and while there are specific Linux uh, distributions kind of designed to run on lighter hardware, Linux Mint is going to check all the boxes for you 99% of the time, if you're running a relatively normal and I guess not ancient computer, that is. With all of that being said, that was a basic overview of Linux and some advantages it has over Windows, along with a few reasons and a bit of a rant about how much I really hate Windows. Now, I'm going to provide a more in-depth video on Linux Mint specifically, as well as different kind of, um, you know, starter tutorials for things like gaming, so stay tuned for that. This has been LearnXTV, and I'm dipping out. Peace out, big dogs.